hey everybody we are hanging out with r and Gile valentine and we were just organically having a discussion about how they're so young and have so much experience in the springer lifestyle and they mentioned porn and it's funny because r's first reaction was well that that is like she's a different generation and so she didn't have online porn she didn't grow up with that availability and we just stopped and we grabbed the camera and we started rolling because this is an interesting discussion how much porn has shaped our sex life and our wants even. So I love to get your guys like a round table. Okay, so for me, I had never really watched porn too much when I was younger. I was more into reading the smut stories. So I would go under Wattpad, that was like the thing for the, for the smut stories and be reading, um, I was reading One Direction fan fiction. Okay. Like a, you know, like a good little 15 year old girl. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And I remember, I, I, that's when I first started learning about different things. That's when I started learning about the idea of bondage, when I first started learning about the idea of like daddy dollar role play and everything like that. And I'm just like, and I remember uh, the daddy dollar role play really is the one that really st sits with me. Cause that's when I realized that I was, I was kinky. Mm. That was probably one of my favorite stories that I ever read. I went back and I revisited it probably a bunch of times, you know, getting, wow. yeah. How old are you? I think at that time I was 16. I missed out on stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, the kinky stuff actually resonates with me too. I'm also uh, uh, quite creative, so I loved Pornhub. I loved um, Red Tube. I loved um, hentai. You know all that type of stuff that mm. honestly broadened my experience with you know a wide range of different material. And with all this different interaction, I saw what I liked. I saw what I didn't. Right. I got ideas for what I would improve things that I would like to try out to give them the chance. Um, you know, a lot of those hopes and dreams I probably, uh, I rationalized that I would probably have to put some on hold, right, until I found the uh, love of my life that is ex experimental, uh, you know, to the sky and back. So uh, I got to live <laughs> out quite a few fantasies, thanks to her. Although, sorry, I don't have tentacles, so we can't try that out yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's toys. <laughs> okay, so our, in my generation, the smut literature was like, you get hold of a copy of Judy Bloom's Wifey. You know, and what's that? It's, read it, you'll figure it out. But it's, <laughs> it's basically a book. <laughs> it's a book. Okay. Judy Bloom, and she and she wrote a book called uh, Wifey, and that was uh, like steamy. So you know, we'd all be like, "Did you read this section? Did you read that section?" I used to babysit, and when I would go to babysit at people's houses, I knew exactly where their porn collection was. Right, like Ooh. you open that cabinet underneath the TV, in behind all the other VHS, in behind all the other VHS tapes. There's one back row there that mm -hmm. usually has some X's or some strange names or whatever. So that's how I used to get it. And for many years before I went to university, I went, I worked in a video store. Mm -hmm. And so I had access to the entire porn section. Wait, so was there like, I remember I've seen a few old movies where they literally had the porn section behind like a curtain yeah. or something. So yes, it was behind a curtain oh, yes. or it was behind like saloon doors. I think that might have been a law or something there that it had to be like in a section apart. So, okay, I'm like 15 working in the store and you know, like some guy comes in like, you know, looking at me funny and hands me three porn movies and says, here, darling. And I'm like, thank you. Great. Right? Yikes. Yeah, I know it was a little strange. Or the worst time is someone would come in and be like on the counter, can you recommend one for me? I'm like, really? You were 15. Yeah, like, I'm like, really? No, mm -hmm. I don't think so. So, you know, that happened. Um, I want to add to that. So I proudly went behind the curtain. Like I was like, <laughs> like going in. And I remember, I don't know if you guys know what this is, Blockbuster? Does that ring? Oh, yes! Okay. Oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. I, okay, the store I worked in was before Blockbuster existed. Okay. What was before Blockbuster? Mom and Pop Shops. Okay. Yep. So I remember when I would go to Blockbuster, basically type of places, that's where we picked up movies to go on dates, right? Like I, I, we'd go home and rent a movie and like watch it with popcorn. And I remember when we would go and pick out porn and you would go behind the place and you would only have the covers to make a decision. And like, there's all this like old 80s stuff with like big hair and Bow, like, chow, yes, and not very, very excited. Bow, chow, like, and, and porn stashes. Yeah, Did just like coming back, they're making a comeback. Oh, you know, the porn true. stash. The I seen I went out of Oasis last night. The 70s are back. Okay, but I have a question. Yeah. So on those VHS tapes or whatever it was, 
like so you had the image to go over was there a description of the back there yes was. yeah apparently there were some stories i don't think many people spent much time reading those stories well i did because it said like anal like this like it told you what was in it like it was like watch starlet get her anal gape like it's just okay this is youtube you gotta be careful <laughs> but basically it did give you enough to be like okay i know what i'm buying i'm renting but if you didn't like it you couldn't just Google another one. You had to drive that fucking video home and put it in your bucket. So oh that Lord. explains, I guess, why people would take three at a time. Because my mm. big thought was, why isn't one enough? Yeah, they're maybe yeah. they're where they wouldn't like it. Yeah. They want to make sure they, you know. Well, get that's it. You had one. to hedge your bets. You get three. I and hate disappointing it. porn. I turn that off so quick. I'm like, you have one job. You better fucking get <laughs> me there system? fast. You, so we search something up. And then we go under a video that speaks to us and then go under its related ones and pick the best one, right? That's correct. Okay, so what do you guys search in your porn, porn sites? Well, first we check out the recommendations on the homepage. Oddly enough, they are usually hot, right? But uh, it also kind of gives us a fast access to a particular category, right? So maybe I see a particular three-way video and uh, maybe there's something about it that I don't particularly like. Maybe the, one of the girls will look a little bit uh, generic or something like that. And so I decide to click on the video for the category and uh, see the recommendations beneath it, right? And then I have a whole ax a whole wide, uh, you know, range of uh, uh, yummy selections to choose yummy from. Yummy selections. <laughs> yeah, I usually, for me, I type in like keyword that I'd find interesting that I'd want to, like something to do with it in the moment. So like BBC or mm -hmm. like out or like gangbang or something like that. Do you vary a lot? Um, when it comes to the porn that I watch, no, only because I'm picky. So I've learned yeah. what categories usually work and which ones don't. There are some categories like, like at, well, for lesbian porn is so like a given. You're always gonna find something hot on lesbian porn. Oh, I'm There's... so fucking bored with lesbian porn. So are you kidding? Adri Adriana Chechik. Oh, wow. she's kinky. Adriana Chechik. She's kinky. It's true. Just go under her channel. You will she find. She does a lot of. Hey, you know all your viewers are like googling right I know. now. <laughs> <laughs> she's our favorite. Like I, re I remember one Let time. Let us know if it's any good. <laughs> I remember we'd see a few videos with her, and then like we'd like then go and kind of act out something similar to what she just did because like, she's so fucking hot. Well, that reminds me of something I actually want to try with you later mm -hmm. um something that might be really fun for our fans okay. to see so okay. um girl and girl stuff but okay with a toy in between anyways um <laughs> we'll come back to that but this yeah. has been a really interesting chat do you guys want to say something quickly to wrap it up the conversation i saw sylvester stallone in a porn once what yes it was called the italian stallion oh that's good yeah. i'd watch that i'd watch that wow. he was actually pretty good when he was young yeah. Yeah, he was pretty yummy but I guess, yeah, generational, generational differences are freaking wild. I remember yeah. the porn, first of all, there were magazines as well. We didn't talk about the magazines, but there was stacks yeah. of those. I knew where to find those, obviously, <laughs> in, in the house. And, um, yeah, and there was a lot of bush. Yeah. Right. There yeah. was no scaping. Oh my god. There was no landscaping. Oh my god, no. It was, it, I'm serious. It was like, like creeping ivy, honey. Yeah. It was, um, <laughs> yeah, that was where the day, so. Oh my god, no. For us, no. for pictures, Reddit, usually. Reddit's nice. Reddit, like, Subreddit's category. Subreddit, yeah. Reddit is good for porn, I learned. Yeah. Just I didn't even know that. Enough. You just taught me something. Yeah, yeah. if you ever Twitter want to talk pictures, like Twitter Reddit and Twitter. You'll have to give me like a porn tour somewhere. You know, a tutorial, a porn tutorial. <laughs> you know, it's funny because we can we can bridge the generational gap. We just have to have like a training session. Um, okay, one more question though. So the back room where you kept the porn, the fucking blockbuster rooms, did it have like special lighting and everything? Like what you see in the movies? Or no, okay. no, it was the same ordinary fluorescent lighting. Okay, it was like barely a partition, just to say that I guess they met yeah. requirements. Okay. Um, so I remember like seeing like some fancy ones in the movies with like purple curtains and like some deep lighting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I kind of no, I don't think they put that much effort into it. Quite like, it frankly. felt that taboo because you were in that part of the room. Yeah, behind the curtain. Okay, the best yeah. is, I love them, and they're, like, looking around at, like, the action movies mm -hmm. and the sports thing, and then they gradually make their way around the room, look over their shoulder twice, and walk <laughs> into that little saloon room. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I used to see that very often. I'd be so worried funny. about running into like one of my parents there or something. I'm just very yeah. glad the internet exists nowadays. <laughs> that way, and in well, and like, that was the whole point of this discussion is that you guys are lucky that you yeah. have that. Well, lucky, you know, you're. I guess that's what we had to walk you. uphill both ways, man. Like <laughs> we did in the snow. <laughs> 
<laughs> Break at our porn. <laughs> no, but you know, and it's so accessible for you that you can learn about stuff that I'm just learning about. Apparently, you've done already. So you know, it's it's fascinating to me that um, mm -hmm. you know a generation apart. You know, I, I, I've been around the block a time or two, and yet. I and knew. yet she looks at your experience with awe, right? Like it's... And it's, I know yeah. nothing. The more I learn, the more I realize I know nothing. Mm. There's always something to learn from everyone. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. And I got lots of time. So here we go. Thank you for coming to our chat. If you enjoy my content and you also want to see what I offer on my vlog channel, please click on one of the links on your screen now so that you can see and explore all of my crazy life shenanigans.